concept of cross product explain the geometric significance of magnitude of a cross b so this is very important to understand and we will use this application a lot to find area of parallelogram and area of uh, triangles and that way is area of any polygon right now the question here is explain the geometric significance of magnitude of a cross b so let's consider two vectors a and b and let's say this is my vector a and that is vector b now let's form a parallelogram with these vectors so we'll have a figure like this let's, this is our parallelogram which is where vector A is along this direction and the angle between them is theta and this is our vector B. Now, what is the area of parallelogram? To find the area of parallelogram, we actually drop a perpendicular, right? And let us say the height is H. Then, the area of parallelogram is given as base times height, right? So, area of parallelogram is equals to base times height. Now if this is angle theta then what is height? We can write height in terms of B right? So we know sine theta equals to H over B. I should say magnitude of B right? So from here we can write h equals to magnitude of b times sine theta. Correct? And what is the base of this? The base is a, magnitude a. Correct? So we get area of this parallelogram equals to base, which is magnitude of a, times height, which is magnitude of b sine theta. And by definition, what is A cross B? Vector A cross B is actually A B sine theta. Is that okay? A cross B is also A B sine theta. The only thing is, magnitude of A cross B is A B sine theta. And the direction is normal. So it's a normal direction is normal to both A and B. So that is A cross B, a vector quantity. But when we are considering just the magnitude, then the magnitude is same as area of parallelogram. You can see that. So we can write this as area of vector A cross B. You see that? So the magnitude of A cross B actually is equal to uh, area of parallelogram formed by vectors A and B. So that is the geometrical significance of this magnitude of A cross B. And actually the vector A cross B itself is a vector. So vector A cross B is normal to the plane in which A and B are and its length is same as the area of this parallelogram right so that is how we get to understand a cross b so a cross b has the same magnitude as magnitude of a parallelogram formed with the sides of a and b and the direction is normal which is given by the right hand rule so that is how we should be understanding the significance of A cross B, right? And we'll utilize this property in finding area of parallelograms and triangles. Triangles will be half the area, correct? And volume of 3D figures and so on. Thank you.